it's Claire from Team Two Place and today I am with my mum. And we're back with Barbie Sew Machine. Yeah. And we had lots of questions, didn't we, about the mm. finer points of how to set this machine up. So we are back to hopefully answer those and we'll do a, a revised setup of machine, won't we? Mm. And then we'll do another video showing you how to make something else. Yeah. Okay, so set up of the machine. Clara is going to show you the cool bit at the back. So first of all, we've got to switch that round and pull that out and then put that like that. So you need to pull it all the way out before it will actually bend into its shape. Yeah, so that makes your little hanger, doesn't it? And then we've got some hangers in here. That's it, that'll do. Just a few. That's okay. Okay, so then we can put some hangers on. That's nice for all our finished items. Yeah. Yeah? And we've got some stickers on the back, haven't we? Mm. And then we've got this cool bit here, haven't we? What does this bit do? Flaps down for the catwalk. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> I don't think it's that kind of cat, is oh. it? <laughs> I think it's more a fashion catwalk. I want it to be a cat. <laughs> okay, so that's the, the fun part, isn't it? So then let's have a look back at the machine. Yeah, so there's a few fancy bits on the front that you can take off and fiddle around with, can't you? The car is throwing all over me. Sorry. Okay, so we can play with those, can't we? There's another... That's all right. That's on the floor. Quite tricky. That's it. Well, you lay them out and you have a think where you want them to go mm. and then we'll set the machine up while you're doing that. Yeah. Okay. To get all of them off, okay. okay. There we go. Okay, so you pop this one away for now. Okay, now okay. Okay. right. So, set up a machine. I'll try and do it backwards so you can see. Okay, so. I'm going to give you the rundown as to how to set this machine up from start to finish and then we will do a couple of lines of sewing and hopefully then you'll see how it works. Um, so a few things you need to start. So obviously a pair of scissors. We said in the last video that you desperately need a um, needle threader. Um, we, I found that the hook one is better than the one that has the little eye just because the needle hole is so tiny. Um, so the hook threader, and then we've got the bobbins that came with the pack. Um, so we'll start with threading the bobbin on the machine, and then we'll set up the machine with the thread, and we'll put the bobbin into here and hook it up, and then we're ready to go. So with your bobbin, you need to pop it onto your plastic um, bit here. You do need to push it really hard. Um, I couldn't actually manage to get it right down earlier. I had to get someone to help, but I think I'm down. And then you need to push it over to the right um, so that it engages onto there, and then that will allow that to spin. Then you take your, your thread, tangled up there, and that's when we pull up this nifty little thread holder here. So we pull up our thread holder, pop our thread on, and then we go around this little disc here. And it doesn't, it does sort of hit the thread a little bit on the way back, but according to the instructions and what we've tried, that's okay. We'll snip an end off there, and then we'll just thread up through one of these holes here and pull it so you've got it tight. And then I normally wrap round a couple of times around the bobbin and then again make sure it's clicked onto that right hand side so normally when it's running I would keep hold of that thread so it doesn't get caught up in your bobbin as it turns and then hopefully you should find oh except I think the thread was going the other way there so hang on a minute let's just unwind that a second because it's gone round the the bottom Otherwise, we were right. So, 
So just be careful which way you wind it round the bobbin, because if you wind it the wrong way, you're going to get yourself into a pickle. That's it. That's the challenge of doing it in reverse here. Okay, so we'll carry on. Okay, and we'll thread back up through here. Make it nice and tight, and then we'll... So it is winding. I think ours has got a little bit stuck where we've used it so many times because when we've done it before, it has wound and it has wound sort of up and down, up and down. Um, and it might be this thread that isn't the best on this sort of um, spoon, spool, I suppose, that it's on. Um, but essentially, hold your thread at the top, push your foot, and it will wind onto your bobbin. And then when you're done, push your bobbin back to the left wiggle it off if I can Ooh. and then snip it and you should be ready to go so your long thread you had at the end at the top just make sure you cut that right down so that it won't interfere with your sewing um, but as I said, I think it's this that caused the problem because the last one we did, obviously we did a white one and we've got a really nice white bobbin that's all nice and evenly done there. Okay, so the bobbin's ready to go. So we'll leave that at the front and then we'll set the machine. Okay, so we're now gonna go on to setting up with the thread through the machine and then we'll hook up the bobbin in there. So I've got a, a sort of better thread on a on a spool this time so hopefully that will work a bit better through the machine so on to the nice sticky out bit here and then round the pink tension there follow it so it follows the groove in the machine down to the bottom and then you need to manually just thread the end of the thread through that big hole you've got there at the bottom. This is why it's fiddly. Third time lucky, hopefully, here. And there we go, indeed. So again, you can see it's just following the line of the groove there as we pull it through. Then you're coming back up in this big groove and then you go through this little loop up here. So again, a bit of threading coming towards the end of the machine there. And we've just lost it off there. So we'll keep them on there. So again, we should be pulling through quite nicely at this point. Then we come down through the same area. And then ideally here, it should go through this hole here. However, it is particularly difficult to get through that hole. If you need to move your needle, just use this pink turny handle here. That'll move your needle up and down so you can access it. I think when we've done this, I think we might have gone through this sometimes, but again, it's just another layer of complicated threading that's made slightly difficult because you've got plastic barriers at the back. Um, but we'll try and go through it at this point here. Oh, we're doing well so far. Okay, so we're through. So again, it should all look nice and lined up. It should pull quite happily through um, that turn circle there. It does seem to want to get a little bit stuck sometimes. I'm stuck. Okay, so we're pulling through. As you can see, it does sort of sometimes like to get a little bit stuck. It's doing a bit better now. Sometimes it just needs a little bit of tweaking. Um, so we've pulled lots of excess through. So then we just need to thread the needle. You thread the needle left to right through the machine. So make sure that you've got the needle nice and high. And then this is where we need our special little needle threader. So I think what we've done in the past is we found the hole. I can't even see the hole at the moment. Um, we've sort of tried to then, we have to sort of hook the thread around 
this little hook bit like that and then keeping a bit of tension then have to hope that we can wiggle it all back through like that and grab it oh we're there that was a good thread that time apart from the fact that the thread's got caught okay so that's it so we've threaded so from our spool round the tension down the groove through the hole up through the hole of this movable arm down again through the little hole there and then threading left to right through the needle and we should be pulling through quite happily there okay so then we need the bobbin so we need this bit the one we did earlier and we need to slide off the bobbin case so here it is a drop-in bobbin so you just need to drop it in from the top down and you need to hang on to the thread of the main bobbin sometimes you need to hang on to this one as well but essentially you're then going to turn this handle so the needle drops down into the machine keep turning the handle forwards towards yourself if you're doing this okay and you should see here that you get a little line of thread here as it's coming around the machine if you keep watching you'll see that thread and it will move across the top of the bobbin and then it should scoop up you can see it's made a loop it's scooped up this thread here okay and this is when it's important then that you need to pull this thread through at the same time so it should pick it up keep going it should pick it up and in a moment as that needle comes out we should then be able to pick it through and you can see if you pull the main thread you've then pulled up that bobbin up through that little tiny hole and suddenly you've got two nice threads coming through your machine okay so i think that was the bit that a lot of people couldn't quite manage um, it did take me a couple of turns coming towards myself with the dial um, to actually pick it up properly um, but as long as you can see the thread coming across the top here um, just keep sort of gently tugging on the threads particularly the thread of the main needle and it will pull through your bobbin thread and then you're ready to go so we've knotted up a little bit at the back but we just snip them off and then again as you can see you've got a nice bobbin thread at the bottom and then if I bring the needle up, you can see you've got the nice needle thread and they're quite separate through the work there. Okay, so once you've done that, get your little bobbin cover um, and slide it back in place and then you are ready to go. So with all work, when you're working, you want to make sure that when you put your sort of your... Um, fabric through that your thread of your main machine sort of stays on the top and your bobbin thread stays underneath at the bottom and then with this thread I normally like to have it so it's sort of coming there and normally you'd like to have your threads so they're coming out the back of your work and that you've got a nice long tail out the back okay so that's it so we're ready so let's hopefully hope that this will work when we do a few lines of sewing so before you start your sewing I always like to put my needle in first so I move the the dial at the side to get my needle to um, go into the work nicely then move the foot down and it's been a little while I can't quite remember oh there we go it's hidden there so then move the foot down with the pink lever which was just tucked up here in the back can see it down that way it gives you um, work nice and security but also you know that your needle is where you want it to be and then it holds it nice in place um, make sure the machine's turned on we know we are I think we've been on slow because of Clara to keep it going which has been fine and then normally you'd have it facing yourself but you know you've got your threads at the back um, and then normally I'll get Clara to do the honours here she can push the foot down and I will guide the work from this angle. But before, get your needle down into your work, um, get the foot down onto your work there, um, and make sure your threads are nicely at the back. Um, one last thing is just try and make sure that your thread comes underneath this sort of spring loaded bit here um, and not sort of through the middle. Um, see how you go with that. Sometimes I find that gives a little bit too much tension um, and it can sometimes sort of catch the thread. 
um, and other times it seems fine so just sort of see how you go really you do have to go quite slowly it does sort of sometimes jam up and you have to wiggle a little bit of the um, oh, the manual issues. therapy manual therapy the manual um, button at the side um, but let's see so Clara you take it away I've done a double thread this time okay. and we'll see yeah Beautiful. So that I reckon is the best we have done. So I'm just going to lift my foot, take it out. When you take it out, always make sure that you pull a nice amount of sort of thread through through Don't your you bobbin. Need to take the needle out. Through the no, through there, and then chop sort of away from your work. So then you've got the nice threads out the back, ready to th thread again. And then as we said, that is a really nice line of stitching there. Um, it's a little bit buckled at the back. Again, that's sometimes due to the bobbin not quite being in the right um, threaded way. Um, but actually, it's a pretty nice line of stitching. And then if you wanted to finish it off properly, ideally what you should do is at the back, you pull the back thread up. And that will give you a little loop. And then if you pull that loop up through your work, then you can tie those two threads a bit of a sea of threads here um, but then you can just tie those two threads in a knot and then another knot and then that will make your sewing a really nice secure end so that it's not all going to come unstitched um, if you lose it and then the same at the end of your stitching again if you pull the back thread up it will give you a loop and then you bring that loop to the back of your work and then again, just tie them off in a couple of knots. Ta da! So then it looks all nice from the front. You haven't got any threads, you can trim them off at the back, and you've got your nice sewing ready to go. So hopefully, that's answered some of the questions um, and gone through a total doing the bobbin threading the machine, making it stitch, and hopefully you know what to do. Um, Clara, you're gonna embellish the machine now, make it look pretty, yes? Yeah. Okay, so. Going to leave it there, and I'm just going to make the machine look pretty, and don't forget to like and subscribe, bye. Bye.